Hello everyone, welcome back to another educational vlog. So today, in this educational vlog, we're going to learn about Burj Khalifa, uh, a pretty tall and modern building in Dubai. Where is it again located? So, Burj Khalifa is located in Dubai, uh, Dubai. or UAE, mm -hmm. United right Arab Emirates. And what continent it is? Asia. Asia. Okay, go on Jaden with your blog today. So, Burj Khalifa is apparently the tallest building in the world that has ever been seen. It is about 828 meters, which is very high. It has the most stories in the buildings, which has 162 floors and 57 elevators that can take you up 10 meters up or down per second, which was pretty unexpected. But UAE is a pretty rich country because, like, um, wood or any type of poor material was not made. It was, like, made of, like, rich, dark marble, granite, which was, like, the kind of black stone, and um, some glass panels. It's normally easy to see the material, but it's normally hard to be, it's a bit hard to explain. But anyways, the Burj Khalifa is probably made in different shapes. The Burj Khalifa is 8.5 times taller than Big Ben and 2.5 times taller than the Eiffel Tower that I explained a bit ago. That's fine, yeah. And by the way, <clears throat> Burj Khalifa is a pretty tall skyscraper. I don't see a lot of skyscrapers in Europe, but I see so many in Asia. I see some in Japan, I see some in China, I see some in the Philippines and Nahui, Qatar, and then you start with UAE, the tallest one in, in the world. Now, just talking about the whole country, about UAE, it's a really clean place. And that like, um, Burj Khalifa can reach about more than high, higher than the clouds because like um it's 828 meters it's probably expected to be like the clouds are supposed to be like um probably 700 meters if it must uh that's my prediction but i don't think i'm correct anyways because um there's like in one and what 828 percent chance i'm gonna get that right so anyways moving on so talking about that in case a fire breaks out in the building, there is going to be a refuge floor that is safe for everyone every 25 floors. And by the way, if a, if a natural disaster um, breaks up um, near um, Burj Khalifa, normally um, the tower won't get damaged because um, they have really strong materials even though glass isn't really strong. But like granite is really strong with marble as well. I know what marble and granite look like and they're pretty similar to each other they just have different similarities um like you know they're different but like um they marble is like um where they have like it's like a white block then the like <clears throat> the like um black lines and then granite it's the opposite a black block with white lines so um Burj Khalifa is a free standing structure which apparently is normally called the only the only skyscraper in the UAE. Even though um, there are other buildings that really look like um, Burj Khalifa and that they look really similar and they look like skyscrapers. It may be, but it's my prediction. So 31,400 tons of glass. Oh no, 31,400 tons of steel and 26,000 tons. Um, glass panels were used to make this building and for me I was very surprised because it only took like four materials to build and that like um if you dropped anything I'm pretty sure it would break because like it and by the way you can live that it's like an apartment but if you live on like the tallest floor 162 um it's gonna be a very risky for you because um apparently you're gonna be above the clouds and it's going to be really, really high. So I bet you're going to go, I bet you have to go down a bit like um, um, 98, I guess. If you live there, please tell me your experience because I want to know about how it's, how good it is there and the five star rating. And if we can visit um, 
Burj Khalifa because it is a wonderful place and UAE is a very modern country that I would like to go to because I don't find any trash in that country to be honest so hopefully yeah that is one of our bucket list yeah so yeah. God's will everything will be fine in the world and we can probably visit uh, UAE someday you can visit Dubai someday yeah so I'm just gonna show you a picture of Dubai Oh, not Dubai, sorry. I'm going to show a picture of UAE. Oh, no, uh, Burj Khalifa. This is the building. It's really, really tall. And then some other tall skyscrapers. They have, like, really clean oceans. Don't mind my watch. And, yeah, this is Burj Khalifa. It's really tall, made in different shapes. Like, at the bottom, it's, like, a big um, stand formation. So, I was a bit surprised about this fact because it blew my mind. So, I'm just going to tell you the fact. More than around 22 million work hours were used to create this building. But, not really, but 22 million is a big amount. I thought it's just going to be like, um, like, um, 500,000 hours to make this building. But instead it turned around 22 million. So, apparently so basically 12,000 workers were offered or wanted to offer to help build the Burj Khalifa and that blew my mind because I thought like I'm um, like normally like 100 people build the building but like 12,000 112,000 is like a really big gap so it's just gonna be like 12,000 minus 11,000 mm, 11,900 anyways moving on so Burj Khalifa is apparently recorded and I'm predicting that it may be in the Guinness World Record as the most tallest building in the world 828 meters it's very very high I don't know what's going to be our experience but I don't know if my parents are going to be scared because yes. um if we lived on the highest floor which was 162 compared to my building um, the highest in the Philippines, so the highest building in the Philippines is like, only has like 62 floors, my dad told me. Yeah. Hopefully he's not lying. Hopefully he's right. It's not lying. Yeah. Hopefully he's right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what I'm hoping for. So anyways, continuing about how it blew my mind with the 12,000 workers. I'm so surprised. But like 22 million work hours just blew my mind a lot. But 12, but it didn't really blew my mind because like, um, it's a really tall building and then like, they had like, so many people to like, carry the glass barriers, build it on and structure the shape. It's a freestanding structure and it's open to everyone. But, um, I'm pretty sure I have to pay a lot because, um, it's a very rich building, which has lots of technical strategy buildings. And That's good that there are many workers so that uh, the building will be quicker the build yeah, yeah it wouldn't be stressful to be honest because like um even though it made you 22 million work hours it managed to finish the building and i know they tried the how many best. years the end so far you know how many years that they have finished the building oh so sorry how many years that the building was constructed it wasn't recommended in the books sadly. not recorded okay no worries okay but it took 22 million work hours but it didn't say when it started building the wonders of the world where i get my references from to teach you all about um education of logs and by the way i do this topic a lot because um geography is my one of my favorite subjects and by the way um talking about this how i got addicted to geography Mm -hmm. On my seventh birthday, I got a gift, which was a globe, and then the book about the encyclopedia, which would show the flags, and the countries, and the capital cities, and then the 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 largest seas, the largest mountains, the coldest weathers, the biggest deserts, and many many more naturalistic places. So yeah. So talking about how um there are fifty seven elevators in the building and how it can carry people up 10 meters per second for the building up or down no matter so apparently it's the weight of like 5500 kilograms which is the weight or the size of a bull elephant and for me that also shocked my mind as well 
because I didn't really learn about kilograms. It may not shock me, but it actually did because I feel like 5,500 is a big number for a bull elephant to be weighed. I don't know if it even broke the scale anyways. But trust me, the elevators there are pretty rich. And like, um, there are so many buttons in the elevator since there are like 162 floors. But talking about how there are safety floors in the building, that gets me because um, I feel like no apartments have that except Burj Khalifa. Because it's a very detailed building that has, I'm um, like, they worked so hard for it. And then shout out to the builders in case you're watching this. Because your building is actually amazing. It's like, it's so modern and very luxury. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, it's the end of the video. Shout out to Ray, R R Riley, Alan and family. They are my cousins who always watch my videos and have um, the notification bells on. I hope they do because um, I didn't get a notification from them yet. But hopefully they did. But hopefully like, share, comment, subscribe over there in the posters behind me thank you guys i hope um you're having a good day and hopefully um if you're in the Burj Khalifa right now you learned something new about it because i don't think um you're going to learn about it but now since you have me i can talk about um man-made wonders and the world wonders around the world my mom and me um plan to talk about pretty popular ones so in case like um you get more interested and inspired about the my, my man-made wonder that i am teaching about and the topic and how naturalistic it is so thank you guys thank you everyone until next video of educational black with jayden bye the next don't forget to subscribe the next video bye -bye. may be taj mahal from india okay so stay put for that and uh till next for the Touch Mahal, Black of Jaden. Bye. Bye. God bless everyone. Bye.